The banking industry has come under pressure. Three banks have collapsed in the span of less than two weeks, presenting the Federal Reserve with the dual threats of rising prices and financial instability. The Federal Reserve now facing a delicate balancing act. They really are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Powell has an incredibly complicated equation to consider. Nick Timoros covers the Federal Reserve for The Wall Street Journal and explains three things the Fed is evaluating ahead of its March Federal Open Market Committee meeting. The stakes are high at this meeting because the Fed doesn't want to fall behind in its inflation fight. A week ago, the big question was how much the Federal Reserve would raise interest rates next week. The latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be to be higher than previously anticipated. But now this banking crisis changes everything. And the question is whether the Federal Reserve will even raise interest rates at all. That's because a banking crisis can be very destabilizing to an economy. We have to meet payroll this afternoon, so that's why I'm here. The whole reason the Fed was created was to stop the kind of financial panic that we saw unfolding over the weekend. The Fed and other regulators unveiled a series of measures Sunday night to try to stem the panic. Regional bank stocks sold off sharply on Monday. They recovered a little bit of those losses on Tuesday. The Fed has two goals to keep inflation low and stable, and to maximize employment. But it can't do that if there is financial instability. So at the end of the day, the Fed has to make sure that credit markets and the banking system are operating smoothly. Beyond the financial instability problems, the Fed has to focus on the economy and inflation, which is running too high. Restoring price stability will likely require that we maintain a restrictive stance of monetary policy for some time. The numbers that came out Tuesday are a reminder for why the Fed has been raising interest rates. The Fed has a 2% inflation target, and inflation was reported at 6%. The Fed is concerned that the economy is overheating, and the whole reason they've been raising interest rates is to bring supply and demand back into balance. Even though the economy is strong right now, the Fed has to take into consideration all of the interest rate increases they've made up to this point. We have covered a lot of ground, and the full effects of our tightening so far are yet to be felt. Even so, we have more work to do. The Fed has raised its benchmark federal funds rate at the fastest pace over the last 12 months than any time since the early 1980s. The Fed is trying to figure out when that's going to slow the economy down and by how much. Economists refer to this as the lags of monetary policy. The Fed is trying to manage this process so that they can slow down the economy gradually without having big moves in either direction. And the banking problems we saw last week are exactly the kind of thing the Fed was trying to avoid. Everybody knows that inflation is a problem right now, but what's hard to tell is just how these banking problems settle out. The path of the banking crisis over the next few days could play a really important role in determining what exactly the Fed does at its meeting next week.